Well, hello, hello, hello. Come on into class. Hello, everyone. Good evening. Good Tuesday evening to you. Thank you so much for being here. Let me start by introducing myself as always. Hello, I am Maggie. I'm your substitute teacher today. And in my class, uh, I teach you the substitutions that I make with food. Um, I'm just a mom. I'm a boy mom times two. I've been on a health and wellness journey, maintaining about a 77 pound weight loss with at least 25 more to go. Today I'm fasting and my kid is home, uh, so I'm going to be making dinner for Marcus. And so I just figured I'd show you guys what I'm doing. Um, for me, usually we talk about food substitutions, and I'll still give you guys some good substitutions and some good hacks. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, you are my scholars. You've named yourself uh, Maggie Scholars, and I'm so happy that you're part of this community. Whether you love to eat, like me, or you love to cook, <laughs> like me or you just need some ideas for meals or some substitutions or maybe you're you know struggling with health uh, challenges I used to be pre-diabetic I used to have elevated cholesterol and borderline blood pressure all of that is normal now uh, thank goodness so um, I just love cooking for you all you hold me accountable I eat twice a day and I go live for you when I eat, but I'm not going to be eating tonight. I think I'm going to start with a beverage and uh, I've got some ingredients that I want to throw together. My oldest is uh, almost 15 and he's finishing out the semester with dad, but dad's out of town, so he's home. So I'm going to be cooking more than usual. Hello, hello. Let's do a quick attendance in class. We've got Mona, the moderator. Mona's pregnant. Pre I keep saying that y'all. I'm sorry. Present. I don't know what is wrong with me. I'm sorry. Mona is present. Please tell us about your channel. Put that in the chat so we can put that on the screen. Titanium is present. Welcome to class. Veggie Veggie is present. Welcome to class. Jess W is present. Welcome to class. Amethyst is present. I meant to give you this chicken. Um, so I'm cooking this uh, for you. And funnily enough, our favorite... Um, class bot snuggle said that uh he's or she is jealous and that i love you more than i love him or her i love all of my scholars the same so i told snuggles he can he or she can come on through and i'll ha be happy to cook so wouldn't that be funny if snuggles made a um made an appearance in our class ha huh, that would be lovely Ah, we've got Veggie Veggie Leanne. Hello, Leanne is present. Thank you all so much for being here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. We are doing barbecue chicken um, and then rice and peas. So it's just simple, but you know, um, and Big Bad Bull is in the house. Channel sponsor is here. Thank you so much for being here. Um, completely optional, but some of you all have asked how you can support until I monetize. I do have a cash app, dollar sign M Brown. I'm trying to get a little fancy with my technology. I've got my little subscribe button right there. So we're on our way to nine. 199 subscribers. Nana said she will subscribe once I get to, but she wants to be number 1000. Yep. 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 Okay. So I'm going to start with the chicken. If y'all were here this morning, had a little bit of wardrobe malfunction with the fried apple. So I had to change my top and I did put that chicken in the rotisserie. It never turned because it's too big. I'm going to take it out, clean it out, and we're going to start with our chicken then our rice, and then our peas. Um, yes, if you have a YouTube channel or you have a business, um, please put it in the chat and we will share uh, what you do. You guys are here to support me, so I want to support you. Thank you, Invest BTC. Welcome to class. So glad everyone is here. All right, so let me put my apron on. I think I got the Costa Rica baby apron. It, it shrunk in the wash. <clears throat> Y'all know my trademark is an apron. More Maggie merch is coming. This one came from Costa Rica. I went for spring break. I'm going to be collecting aprons when I travel. And as some of you all have seen um, the new Maggie, uh, what is it called when they make like a cartoon of you, an avatar or whatever? So i have uh, working with a freelance artist on Fiverr um, to try and capture Maggie merch. So we got the Costa Rica apron today. Let's see if we can get this chicken out. Ah, oh, yes. 
Hello, hello, Miles is present. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome to class. Ooh, Titanium said, you just made barbecue chicken in the air fry with Jamaican barbecue sauce. Oh, that sounds amazing. I love jerk chicken. I seasoned this with my Walden Farms. We'll see what the kid has to say, but it's the sugar-free, gluten-free, calorie-free. It's a little watery, but I'll put some stuff on it. Okay, the air fryer, the one that I have, right there. Link should be in the description. Uh, I love the air fryer, especially when you're cooking for one or two. Mine is like a little oven, so it's got different shelves that you can put things in, but it also has this little tool, like what the heck is this? But um, when you put things on the spit, so if you saw me thread the chicken this morning with the rod that goes through it, that works on roast, I've done prime rib, prime rib or whole chicken. When it's hot, you use this to go inside the air fryer and lift out the um, the meat, I guess is what it is. So um, it's not hot. I can reach in there with my hands, but I'm going to grab it. <laughs> All right. So we got this big old bird that we cooked this morning. It's dripping on my pan, but I'll show you guys. It was too big. It really should be able to turn all the way around, but if you can see, it's too big and it's dripping everywhere. I'll see if I can get into it so you guys can see. I'll lift it up, but I did, you know, check the temperature. So this is what we cooked earlier. You see, it didn't turn all the way, but it looks good. All right. So I'm moving, this is not our barbecue chicken. This is just a chicken that I rotisserie, just let it spin-ish and do its thing. So I'm gonna clean out the bottom of the air fryer. Um, and uh, we're gonna put our uh, chicken thighs in there. Ugh. All right, I got a mess to clean up. This is why I lined with foil, so. So let me get in there and wipe up the juices. <laughs> so ideally you want to get a smaller piece of meat so that it moves more freely, but it did the job. All right. So just clean it up. All right, go ahead and take this stuff off and uh, wash my hands well. Oh, thank you so much, Big Bad. I appreciate you guys supporting. I just appreciate y'all being here. Maggie, the substitute teacher, is three months old. I am a student of TLA, proudly the lead attorney. Um, he is a now retired attorney who took up uh, YouTube as a pandemic hobby and it's now his full time. So he put a, port a course together for those of us. <laughs> he said, if you're 35 and over, you need to start a YouTube channel because you have information that people need to know. And people were always asking me about food, even though I am not a chef, I'm just a home cooker. Um, but you guys are here, part of the community supporting me. So it just makes my day. Thank you so much. All right. All right, so I think that's as good as it's gonna get for now. One of the other things that I love about my air fryer, because it's kind of the oven style, it has like different shelves that you can put in kind of like a bookcase in different levels in the air fryer. My air fryer, and I think most of them, the heat source is at the top. So the closer your shelf is to the top, the hotter it gets and the faster it cooks, the closer it is to the bottom, the slower it will cook. So keep that in mind. I know not everyone, excuse me, is as familiar. So please ask any cooking questions that you have and I'll try to address them as I go. All right, so I am going to line 
this tray with foil for cleanup. You can see that this tray has got a little bit of a basket type action going here compared to these trays that are completely flat, like when I do my tortillas or my um, um, bacon strips. Hello, Dottie. Welcome. Thank you for coming to class. So let me get my aluminum foil. This arrived this morning. I do have another package here to unbox for you all. So we'll do that once we get the food started because I don't want the teenager to get hangry. This is something that you can do uh, if you're able to be home. I do work from home, thankfully. This is something that you can do uh, during the day so that it's ready when the kids come home or when the hubby comes home or anybody or yourself. Okay, so I just lined with foil. This is going to be to catch any of the barbecue juices. All right, so I'm going to show you guys what I have. Uh, it's been marinating, so you know me in my Ziploc bag marination. Is that a word? I don't know. All right, so chicken thighs in the Ziploc bag. So this is a gallon Ziploc bag. If you all remember, um, Amethyst was here Saturday night. I cooked for her arroz con pollo, which is the Latin chicken and rice. And um, I think I made six chicken thighs in that recipe, but I had bought a family pack of chicken thighs and I meant to give them to her and I forgot. So I'm cooking the leftover six chicken thighs. Um, if you like dark meat, um, chicken thighs are great protein. Um, you can get them bone in or bone out. You can cut them up and use them for a variety of things. This is a great like meal prep, great way to get um, extra protein. Okay, Veggie's got some tips for me. So I'm coming to read it. I'm gonna get my gloves on for the raw chicken, then I'm gonna read your comment. All right, just regular old gloves. I try to keep these around when I'm handling raw meat or cleaning up. So Veggie says, marketing tip, thank you, I need it. You should create two types of aprons. Apron number one would be without my face, okay, logo only, okay. Apron number two would have your face on it like a screensaver. Okay, so do you mean like one with this and then one like this? I think that's what you mean, Veggie. But yes, y'all, so I'm gonna tell you about this whole uh, marketing thing. I think the other one is white. I mean, it's dirty because it's white. I do have another apron on the way. So the whole like um, Maggie merch situation you all have asked for, and I'm super excited. Let me turn the air down, I'm old. All right, chicken thighs marinated. So what I did after uh, Amethyst left, and I'm coming, Veggie, um, I took the chicken thighs that were in a pack because they were fresh. I didn't buy frozen. If they were frozen, eh, it'd have been hard to separate them anyway. But I literally just took the rest of the chicken thighs and I put them in the Ziploc bag and I dumped a container of barbecue sauce in there. So they have just been soaking in barbecue sauce. So that's my marinade. Um, I'm gonna put them on this wire shelf. Let me see if I can touch this without messing it up. <laughs> yes, yes, okay. And I'm going to spray this with my um, coconut oil, which is in a little refillable sprayer. Barbecue sauce already. All right, I don't know if the link is in the description, but I put my coconut oil or whatever oil in here. This is refillable and it turns your liquid, liquid oil into a sprayer. So just to make sure that it doesn't stick, I've got my tray for the air fryer. I'm gonna spray this over the sink. I always spray cooking spray over the sink because I don't want that oil on the floor or the counter. Okay, I know you can't tell, but I sprayed this. All right, 
So I'm going to put the chicken thighs on this tray and I'll show you. Literally, you can see that they have been sitting in the barbecue sauce. So I'm going to cook them like this and then as it gets closer, I will see if I have some regular barbecue sauce. The barbecue sauce that I'm using, and I'll show you guys the container, it's the Walden Farms. You know I use the calorie-free, sugar-free, gluten-free, everything-free um, condiments. And they do have a barbecue sauce. To me, I mean, you can tell it's a little bit more runny, liquidy, if that's a word. You know regular barbecue sauce is like nice and thick and sticky. Um, I was really marinating these for me, but since... Marcus is home. I'll go ahead and let him have some and then he'll come on and tell you guys how it tastes. I think I'll do a little bit of seasoning while I'm here. This is one of the substitutions that I use. Oh, I can, there's four. Let me make room. But um, you guys are always hear me talk about condiments and beverages. You can eat a lot of the same food, but there's a lot of added sugar, added calories, added everything in uh, what we drink, I am gonna make a beverage, in what we drink and what we put on our food. So sometimes you can make a lot of changes just by changing your condiments and beverages. So this is going in the trash. That is one of my hacks for marinating. It works with frozen, y'all saw the chicken. I'm gonna move it. But this chicken had a dry rub on it. That feather looks weird. Anyway, I need to take the, um, the spit out of it, but y'all can see our uh, chicken is nice and seasoned. I'm just gonna move this out of the way. All right, um, let's see what we can put on here and give it a little bit more flavor since he's an athlete. He does not need to worry about the issues I worry about, but when you're cooking for the family, it's good to, you know, just go ahead and get them started on some healthier choices. <coughs> We'll go with this. One of my dollar store seasonings, I've never used it before, Memphis style barbecue. So I'm just going to sprinkle that on. I'm always buying stuff just to try it. Oh, and then we'll put this in. All right, so while I'm sprinkling this, so the first Maggie merch that you all saw, I absolutely love my little Bitmoji. It's free for anyone to download an app. I think it's a pretty good representation of me. So I'm gonna turn this over and sprinkle some more. <clears throat> Got rid of my tongs. So some of you all asked for Maggie merch. So I created the aprons with my face on them. I'll do one without. Uh, Veggie, thank you for that feedback. And uh, I bought it and I wore it and I loved it. And then with this um, store that they have, the Zazzle store, I just turned the chicken upside down and I'm doing more of the barbecue seasoning. What I found out is that that image, that Bitmoji is you know, I guess like a copywritten, like you can buy it, but you can't sell it. Meaning I can buy an apron for me or for you, but I can't create a store with um, that image. Aw, shucks. So one of the things that, you know, I learned following lead attorney, I had never heard of Fiverr. Maybe y'all have. I haven't. But um, there's basically like freelance artists that you can pay you know, not a lot, depending on what you want, but like under a hundred dollars, you know, maybe 50, 60 bucks, depending if you want it like animated and to come alive. I just want an image of me that's not me. All right, so this is gonna go in the air fryer. So this is our raw um, chicken that's been marinating in barbecue sauce. So I'm pressing the chicken button. It says 370 um, for 40 minutes. Let me wash my hands again. All 
I need to open up another soap. So anyway, the fiber, I'm actually very excited. They have been sending me like a few drafts to review. And you know, we gotta make sure that they have my little likeness. Y'all wanted pearls, so we put pearls on my little, you know, Maggie avatar. And um, I think you guys will like it. I think we're pretty much done. He sent me some, um, I think it's a heat, I don't know. Uh, sent me some black and white proofs to take a look at and give feedback. And I think it comes with like three revisions. So we've given him feedback. Some of y'all have seen it. And uh, once we get it in color, then I'm going to do um, the aprons. You guys have asked for, hey, needs watches. Thank you so much. Yes, you are here. Welcome to class. Um, we're going to get you uh, Maggie aprons. We're going to get you uh, Maggie mugs. And we're going to get you Maggie tote bags. Basically, once I get that image or the logo done, uh, then we can transfer it to whatever merchandise y'all want. And then there'll be a store and you can buy. I know you guys asked for like um, adult and kid size aprons. So we're going to do all of that. I'm really excited. All right. Let me clean off the counter. Chicken is in there. And I'll see if I can show you guys the substitute barbecue sauce that I'm using. And I need to get my soap out. But that's a really good tip, Veggie. I'll do some with the picture, and then I'll just do some that just say Maggie, you know, the substitute teacher, because we are building a brand, aren't we? Absolutely. All right. So chicken is in the air fryer. It may not take the whole 40 minutes, but I've got a thermometer to check it. So I want the chicken to cook through, and then for that nice sticky ooey gooey with barbecue, once it gets close to the end, you can use a brush to put some more sauce on it so it really gives you that nice uh, caramelization. Do y'all say caramel or caramel? I say caramel. Okay, Veggie's got some more tips. Oh, Big Bad, I mean, Big Bad is hungry. Look, he said, is it gonna take 40 minutes? I love that. I don't think so. Um, it's just the preset that's on the chicken uh, on the air fryer, but my mom taught me to cook with all of my senses. So I'm going to start looking for the chicken to go from raw to done. Um, definitely will temperature it and uh, you'll start to smell it as it cooks. You say caramel. Okay. I say caramel. Okay, good. Gotcha. Jess, I love my air fryer too. Uh, yes, big, big bad. And that is just the preset. So my air fryer... Link is in the description, but I'm going to point at these buttons. So the buttons in the middle are presets. The long ones on the ends. One is temperature up and down and one is time up and down. So if you wanted to do 270 degrees for 12 minutes, you could definitely do that. But I'm going to set it and forget it. Not really. But I'm like a one-touch kind of person, so I always just press the chicken button if I'm cooking chicken. And then if it looks like it's cooking faster, I'll take it out or turn the temp down. Uh, if, it's look, if it looks like it's browning too fast, you know, you can adjust it. But those are just the presets. It has chicken, shrimp, roast, a lot of stuff. Jess says caramel. Me too. <laughs> yes, caramel. <laughs> I love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right, what am I doing? Rice, 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 baby. Gotta cook, gotta cook. And I'm done. That's the stuff that I do and the boys are like, mom, really? Oh my gosh, Betty, from your lips to God's ears, my thousand subscribers celebration and more to come. Y'all know what's so funny, the boys are like, mom, you're going to go viral. I'm like, nothing I do is viral. I'm just cooking. They said, you're going to do something that people think is funny and it's going to be viral. I don't know if that's a compliment. Y'all don't know what the teenagers, right? It's hard to say. All right. So we're going to make some fiesta rice. I'm making it up. I'll show you what it is. And we're gonna make a beverage and I need to open up some more soap. Oh, you guys make my day. 
Ah, Big Bad wants some crockpot meals. Absolutely. Hmm. We'd have to do that in a two part, right? We could do the morning uh, crockpot, like put everything in there. And then in the PM live stream, I could take it out. I do crockpot wings. What would you like to see? Big Bad, you are a channel sponsor, so you get whatever you like. So let me know what you want me to cook for you. Amethyst, I need to update. Amethyst is a channel sponsor now, too. You guys just keep blessing me. Yes, the kids are going to clip it, and I'm going to go viral, y'all. I don't know how to make the clips, okay? I just turn on the iPad. It's just me and my iPad. Uh, I just turn on the iPad when I start cooking, but the boys don't know when they're out of school for the summer. Like our Dexley and Nana's lessons and my unboxing, all of those are going to be clips, and they're going to do it because these meals ain't free. All right. So being an African girl, we eat rice. I don't eat rice, but I grew up on rice. I'm using a rice cooker. I need to add this to the list. You're not African or Asian or Caribbean unless you eat rice, right? Let my family tell it. This is just a basic rice cooker. All it does is cook and then warm. I'm sure there are rice cookers that do a whole bunch of stuff, but why? Shout out to the channel sponsors. Absolutely. Yeah, put them kids to work. Eating up all these meals. Okay. If you don't know how to cook rice, mom taught me it's basic, right? Now we use jasmine rice. I think it's got, I don't know, just cause mom uses it. I think it's got like a flour, it's a Thai rice. So it's like that sticky rice. I don't know, it's what I've got. Rice, 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 baby, I'm lame, I'm lame. Anyway, to cook rice in the rice cooker or on the stove, it is a one to two ratio. So one cup of rice for two cups of water. But if you wanna have a little extra flavor, mom taught me instead of cooking in water, we are gonna cook in chicken broth. So you can always substitute chicken broth for water when you're making, you know, like soups or, you know, even rice gives it a little bit of flavor. And then mom puts a little bit of butter in there just so the rice has a little bit of mmm. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. So one to two, so one cup of rice, two cups of water, two cups of rice, four cups of water. You all can do the math. My scholars are smart. Actually, absolutely, man, don't work, don't eat. Y'all see these boys, 13, 15, what do I look like? I cook so much food that I don't eat. <sighs> anyway, all right, so I've got some chicken broth left over from Amethyst Arroz Con Pollo. So I'm gonna work backwards. I'm gonna measure how much chicken broth I have and then divide that in half to see how much rice I'm cooking because it's just for the kids. So that's a little tip. If you're running low on ingredients, you can adjust your recipe based on what you have. So this chicken broth is what I wanna use up. So I'm making rice with chicken broth. You can do this with water, it's totally fine. If you like the island flavor, you can even do it with coconut milk. Add some, uh, use coconut milk instead of water. <laughs> Add some cilantro, um, some black beans. Yuck. Okay, so I've got a measuring cup here. I'm just pouring to see how much chicken broth is left. This is one way to kind of get through the ingredients that you have, please don't splash me. Oh, huh. almost two cups. So I'm going to call it two. We've got what? A <clears throat> one and three quarters cups. So I'm going to go ahead and put this into the rice cooker. Now, if you don't have chicken broth or vegetable broth or beef broth, that's fine. Put a bouillon cube in there. So do your water. Put in a bouillon cube or those big old Goya uh, seasoning packets that I have. Or another hack, if you eat ramen, use the little seasoning pack. Put that in there so your white rice has a little bit of flavor. Okay, so we know we had almost two cups of broth, so I'm going to do almost one cup of uh, rice. Mona makes what weekly? Weekly. Ah, oh, big bad. That's wonderful. Yes, absolutely. 
And um, for anyone with little ones, Nana taught me how to make my own uh, baby food. You do the same thing. So let's say you have um, your vegetables, your frozen vegetables. If you're doing peas or carrots or whatever, instead of boiling them in water, boil them in chicken broth. Soften them down for the baby. Then you can puree them in the blender and, of course, make little ice cubes or feed. Make your own baby food with whatever veggies and chicken broth so they get a little bit more flavor in their veggies. Absolutely. So good, right? <laughs> Mona, your emoji. I love it. I love being able to share this stuff with you guys because I really didn't think anybody would like. I'm like, everybody knows that. But hey, just like I had to learn, we all have to learn. All right, so let's see if we can get almost a cup of rice. One to two ratio. So two cups-ish of broth, one cup-ish of rice. So. And uh, Big Bad, it can be uh, chicken broth, beef broth, uh, veggie broth, um, whatever you have. And if you don't have, use a bouillon cube. And if you don't have a bouillon cube, use a ramen seasoning pack. So almost a cup. So I'm just putting this into the, the, the pot with the broth. And that's, oh, I'll put a little bit of butter in it. Optional. But if you want your, your rice to be a little silky, that's a little... Why did I do that? That's not going to come up in the closed captioning. I appreciate you too. I just get so excited. Ugh, focus, Maggie. All right. And for the rice, I just use rubber bands a lot in the kitchen. I don't trust these little zipper, you know, things because I'll spill. So I just wrap it in on itself and use a uh, rubber band. So, yes. Okay. Butter. regular butter. I had a grocery delivery today, so I'm going to give him the regular butter so I can save my goat butter. Yes, thank you. Please like and subscribe. If you like what I'm doing, please let me know with a like and uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. I had a grocery delivery today. I think y'all can see what's in there. You know what I got. but I got this so that I have the regular stuff here. I'm sensitive to cow dairy, so the butter that I use is goat butter, but I'm fasting today, so I'm cooking for the kiddo. So of course I keep the regular stuff for everybody. Ask Amethyst, I can make the full flavor stuff too. So pretty. You know that nice little like machine. All right, just like a teaspoon, not much. My ex-husband used to eat just pasta with butter. Some people just eat their starch with butter. You know, no sauce, no nothing. So literally just a little spoon. All right. And I got this one, butter with canola oil. Just makes it a little bit easier to spread. All right, so I'm going to turn this on so you all can see the uh, rice is in there, the butter is floating around in there, and our chicken broth. So if you saw rice cooker, it should just have an on button. I think it has a sensor or something it automatically does. You press this to turn it on and it stays down. And then once the rice is done, it pops up and it goes to warm. My mom's house, there's always a pot of rice. Always. For African, Asian, Caribbean, um, there's always rice somewhere. You can make it plain. Um, or you can add stuff to it, frozen veggies, whatever. Uh, one last thing, the lid has a little steam. Try and keep that away from you um, or away from the wall just because as it cooks, the steam is going to come. So I'll get a nice little facial. And then we're going to do frozen peas. Let's see if I have a little bouillon cube. Hi, Igwe. 
two classes today. Oh, Igwe, y'all. Let Igwe know if I'm spoiling you with two classes a day. Scholars, how do we do it here? I'm trying to find the barbecue sauce, but I couldn't find it. Um, oh, jollof rice. Yes, absolutely. I need to uh, make that um, jollof rice. That is a staple for West Africans. Um, jollof rice is seasoned rice. It has, um, you know, usually a, a protein in it. My mom does corned beef. Some people do beef cubes. Some people do chicken. And then it has like mixed vegetables in it. So it's a nice one pot meal. All right, I'm going to use, I bought these for the arroz con pollo. This is a Latin seasoning pack. It says cilantro and achiote. I don't know, but I'm going to cook the frozen peas uh, in this. So I'll show you. bag so I'll just cook them like them like this but if it weren't a steam bag I would just put this in a pot with just enough water to cover it um, and then let it simmer and then I would put some of the seasoning inside there just so everything has a, a nice little flavor in the bite so this will wait towards the end let me just see how many minutes it needs uh, steam veggies are a great quick way to add veggies to a meal Five minutes, okay, it'll wait. Ooh, chicken's looking good. I'm gonna show you what we have and then we'll do a little bit of unboxing because everything is cooking. The rice is gonna cook, the chicken is gonna cook. So let's see how it's coming along. It's definitely not done, but you guys can see how the chicken is starting to brown and the chicken skin is starting to crisp up on there. So I'm going to continue to let it cook, but you can see here uh, one of the things that the air fryer does. It gives you that crispy skin and it'll be juicy on the inside, but this is going back in. And Igwe, I usually uh, live stream twice a day. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna wash my hands. I'm gonna make a beverage and we're gonna do a little bit of un unboxing. But Igwe, if you're Nigerian, you may know what this is. Nana made this special because my son likes spice. We'll talk about it later. It's like a spicy fish paste. Dangerous. But if you like heat, you'll love it. All right, so let's clean up. Wash my hands.
So I'm also a Scentsy consultant. I'm just opening some new soap. This one says Peachy Palm Trees. We got a new summer collection out. If you need any home fragrance, links will be in the description. So again, you can see here, this meal is pretty much done. As far as prep, chicken is in the air fryer. Rice is in the rice cooker. They both just need to do their thing. And uh, the vegetables will be, you know, a steam bag in the microwave in like five minutes. So I got a couple deliveries today and I'm thirsty. I'm gonna make a beverage and we'll chat before he chows. I get the plastic off of this. But yeah, bouillon cubes. Now I eat pretty clean. I don't have to worry about sodium. I do have to worry about sugar. So I can salt, you know, and season my food well. But you know, like I always say, I'm not a doctor. I'm just a home cooker. So if you have to watch salt, you know, there's a lot of other uh, salt-free seasonings that you can try. There's whole lines of salt-free seasonings, but, um, I love the chicken broth or bouillon cubes. Those are great too, just with hot water. If you're, you know, maybe fasting or don't have time for a meal, you can sip on that in just a little mug with hot water and um, stir it up. Gives you kind of like a chicken soup broth flavor. Okay. stain on the front of my dishwasher. I need to clean it. It's bothering me. Ooh, ooh. Igwe is having chicken and shrimp fajitas with Mexican rice. Oh, and you're making guacamole. Oh my God. Please have some for me, y'all. Trying to get the rest of this weight off, so I'm trying to be good, but that sounds amazing. Oh, that smells good. Clean this. Link is in the description. Just an all-purpose cleaner. I'm always wiping something. This is brandless. You can refill it. Buy the concentrate. Use your own water. And you can be sustainable. All right, just cleaning the front of my dishwasher. Had a little streak that was bothering me. All right, I think I'm out of the barbecue sauce, but beverages and condiments. So this is the brand that I use for me, Walden Farms. And I think it was a three pack that was like ketchup, cocktail sauce, which is like a seafood sauce and the barbecue sauce. So literally I just dumped that in the bag with the chicken. So these have been approved for me. It's an option, option calorie free, fat free, gluten free, all of that, sugar free. Um, it's hit or miss, and I'll tell you what I like. I do like their pancake syrups. I do like their seafood sauce a lot. It's great on shrimp. And I actually like their ketchup. So these are some of the substitutions that I have in the house The kids just grab. They don't know that it's gluten-free, sugar-free. But because it's an apple cider vinegar base, you can see it's a little bit more watery than um, like your thick Heinz ketchup. So just be careful when you go to pour. Sometimes they just kind of come out, but the flavor is good on these. Their spreads, like the mayo and the peanut butter spreads and stuff, not my favorite, but you know, those are some substitution options. Ha! <laughs> I know, right? Y'all, Igwe's making dinner. Exactly, come through. Okay, putting these away. Oh, I do have some. 
I do have some left. I'm going to brush it on there. You see I have it in the fridge upside down because I don't want to waste any. But this is the barbecue sauce. So you can see it's kind of, you know. But we're going to brush it on there in the last few minutes just to get that nice sticky. Hey, Michelle, thank you for being here. All right, let me take another look at our chicken. And um, I'm going to make a mango tea. looking good. I'm going to put the thermometer in there just so I can see because y'all it's starting to darken up nice. <clears throat> you can see our chicken thighs, nice crispy skin. All right. So chicken, and I think it's 165. I just asked the robot. Alexa, what temperature is chicken done? One sixty-five. So I just keep a little thermometer. You know, if it runs clear, you know, it's fine. But let's just make sure. So I just turned this on, and I want to see. Go through the thick part of the meat. Try not to touch the bone. I'm getting 150. So we're going to go back in there. It looks good, but while it's out, I'm going to go ahead and brush it with some more barbecue sauce. All right. So again, let me put it in my gravy boat because it's liquid. <laughs> Mona's in Detroit. Yeah, I know. We're going to have to get people together so we can all eat together. Oh, that might be a fun outing. Like if we did a, somebody wanted a host. This would be cost effective or maybe, and then we could all get together and do like a chat and chow. That might be fun. Let me know what y'all think, you know, cause we do have a meetup. We'll talk about that in a bit, but let me get this chicken back in there. All right. So I've got a little bit of barbecue sauce left. I'm going to put it in my gravy boat, gravy boat from Walmart. I just like this little glass gravy boat. It makes it easy for me to, you know, pour because it's got that nice little spout. The handle stays cool. So I'm going to pour this on the chicken and then brush it on. Just a little bit. Not all. We'll save some. So I just drizzled it on there, but I'm going to get the pastry brush and I'm going to brush it on. I know it's going on the chicken skin, but what I eat is, um, you know, skinless chicken breast, but cooking for the kid, you know, I like chicken skin, but trying to cut any visible fat while I'm trying to get the rest of this away, dog. Yes, a meetup would be awesome. Ah, Mona comes to Atlanta. Wonderful. Okay. So we've got our first meetup. In case anybody doesn't know, it's on my community tab. It is here in the Atlanta area. Thursday, May 26th, 6.30 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. So I just took a little silicone brush. And I just brushed on that barbecue sauce that I um, drizzled on, and it's gonna go back into the air fryer. So you see, I'm always touching stuff when I'm cooking. I know some people just like to set it and forget it, but I'm always checking it, looking at it, want to catch it before it burns. Um, all right, so I'll tell you, tell you guys about the meetup. Wash my hands again. So our first Maggie meetup is at the end of the month. 
Uh, it is the weekend before Memorial Day. I didn't know. I just picked it because of the menu, but we're doing a joint cooking class. So if you're in the Atlanta area or want to come to the Atlanta area, I would love to uh, meet you. It's at a place called the Cook's Warehouse. All right. If you see steam, it's my rice cooker. It smells good, like the frothiness of the rice, a little bit of butter and the chicken broth. It's like I forgot the salt, but I am cooking in chicken broth. I think I should have salted it. Yeah, I should have salted it, but I'm cooking in chicken broth and I have butter, so I'll taste a little bit. Ah, God's girl, how about that? A Zoom so we can all meet. I can do that. Absolutely, we can do like a Zoom and we can all just say hello to one another. Um, put Zoom in the chat if you would come on, camera on, and just say hey to the scholars, just us. Type Zoom in the chat. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So looks like you all want to, well, I see one Zoom. I don't know how the delay is, but I'm going to make some tea and give you guys some uh, time to type Zoom. If you're interested, hi, one and only Brittany. Thank you so much for coming to class. So y'all know what this is, right? McDonald's dollar tea. Unsweet. Notice I didn't say sweet tea. Everything I order is unsweet. So you can buy the same beverages that they have. Um, just ask for unsweet. They do make it or they should make it. Beverages and condiments. I've been wanting to try this. Skinny syrups. This one is mango. Zero sugar, zero calorie. I buy all of my beverages unsweet. And I showed you guys in one of my videos. I went to TJ Maxx, $3.99. You can get these um, online or you can buy them in the store. If you have a TJ Maxx, a Ross, a Marshalls, go to the back where they have the home good stuff and you'll find these syrups give you all the flavor without the sugar. So I'm gonna try this and make a mango tea. I can pour this in a glass over ice. I think I'll do that because I'm fancy. Not really. Okay, so while you guys are looking at Zoom, I mean looking at Zoom, thinking about if you want to get together for a Zoom meeting. But I'll have it even if it's just a couple of people. I would love to meet you all. Um, okay. You don't have to come with your cameras on. I mean, I would like if you would, but you know what? I say be comfortable. Come as you are. Or don't come. Just sit back and watch me. We know there are lurkers in the chat. And one of them is related to me. And y'all know who I'm talking about. So the Maggie meetup. Hey, Wally. Ooh, you're having a mango cocktail. Oh my gosh. Mango syrup. Mona, did you get the skinny syrups mango? So I'm making a mango iced tea. Y'all, if I had some rum, I do have some rum, but I already had the wine for Mother's Day. So, but I've never tried this one before. I just bought it. All right. And I do have the little pumps. You know what? I'll put it in there. Why not? Why be regular? when you can be extra. Completely optional, but I did buy these online. Skinny Syrup has their pumps. Y'all have seen me just pour, you can just pour. But since we're waiting on our rice and chicken, why not? So like Mona's doing, you could do rum, tea, and mango. I'm just doing mango and unsweet tea. Oh yes, Wally, welcome to class. Absolutely. So this is a $1 Walmart, Walmart, McDonald's large tea, unsweet. Just because they advertise sweet tea, you can ask for it unsweet. They do brew it unsweet. I always get my coffees and teas unsweet. 
All right, we'll check the chicken in one more minute. And then um, you just put the little pump together. Again, completely optional. But I want to enjoy stuff, right? I want to feel fancy. So let me get a glass, Wally. <laughs> Don't be a lurker. Hit the light. <laughs> Y'all have seen me do the cranberry. I have all the flavors. I have coconut. I could do a mango coconut tea. Just a glass. Ooh, y'all know what I put in my glasses first. Let's make a Maggie beverage. Just a glass. My test results said I'm acidic, so I need to drink more alkaline water. Link is in the description. You can buy alkaline water already bottled. To me, it's expensive. You can make your own. Buy these drops, 13 bucks, and it turns just a couple drops, turns regular tap into um, alkaline water. I put it in my coffees, my teas, my water, everything. It doesn't change the flavor. And someone else I was talking to, the reason I do it is because I was drinking water. The brand is AlkaZone. I was drinking water, drinking water, drinking water. It was just going through me. It wasn't staying to hydrate me. I was just running to the bathroom. Um, now when I drink water, my test results show that I'm actually hydrated, which is good. And then someone else who was having struggles with coffee that was messing up their stomach because coffee is acidic. You can put the alkaline, Alkazone drops. Y'all know I use the Keurig into your coffee cup and then it settles their stomach. They're, they're better able to tolerate coffee. I am not a doctor. I'm just sharing what's worked for me. All right. So we've got our alkaline drops. Let me get some ice. I think I want to be fancy. Wait till y'all see this. Okay. So we got our mango syrup. I just bought it. I bought all the different flavors. So I'm going to put the pump in here. So it's just like the coffee shop or the ice cream shops where they have all these syrups. Y'all drizzle this on yogurt. Put it in cottage cheese. Add your own flavors. Buy plain everything and then put your own sugar-free sweetener in there. So I'm doing four pumps. Let's see how that goes. If you want it sweeter, add more. My McDonald's unsweet iced tea. And just because... I'm gonna grab a lemon. Oh, you like the acai dragon fruit? I haven't, I don't know if I got that one yet, but I have the mermaid. I have a whole bunch. I knew I had one cup, but I'm just going to because I got a whole bowl of lemon. Oh, here it is. Right here. Da! Then we're going to check on our chicken. But yeah, you know, I drink water, tea, and coffee all day. Um, unsweet. And you'd be surprised how many calories you're drinking with all that extra sugar. So if you can get the flavor without the sugar, why not? Just gonna slice the lemon, no need. It's only gonna go on the side. So, you know, if you're serving someone and you want a nice presentation, put a little slit in there. Let's see our mango tea. Oh, it's so good. Mango iced tea. Everything I make, sugar-free, calorie-free, gluten-free. Y'all, skinny syrups, mango, excellent, excellent. 
And Mona is saying the dragon fruit one is good. I'm going to look and see. I went in there and I just got one of everything. Of course, vanilla, mocha, and caramel. But I wanted to branch out and try some other stuff too. Let's check on our chicken. but I'm going to temp it. Oh, yeah. It went up to like 170. It's dropping fast, but so chicken is done. Big bad bowl. Hopefully that wasn't too long. Waiting on the rice. I'm going to go ahead and put... Um, the peas that are in the microwave, put them on for five minutes. Mona's dancing, you know, happy dance. <gasps> Y'all, where is my, look at this. It is mango iced tea. Ah, okay. I'm gonna take the um, chicken out and just brush it with the remainder of the barbecue sauce. I'll take like a tiny bite just to taste, waiting on the rice to cook and the peas. Then we'll plate and call the kid. Whew. I may even make him a mango iced tea because I'm nice like that. Even though the teenagers make you wanna <laughs> Hey, Ms. Ms. Tiba, thank you so much for coming to class. Ah, oh, so glad that you all are here. So yes, let's see what else I got. So skinny syrups, y'all know I love this stuff. Mango, love this in tea. What else would this be good at? You know those, um, I was thinking cottage cheese. I can't have dairy. But you know those like flip things that it's like a triangle and it's like cottage cheese on one side and they have like that... Um, jelly preserved flavor thing on the other side which is loaded with sugar just squirt some of this stuff on your cottage cheese or if you can have dairy your plain yogurt um y'all know that i use the vanilla and the plain yogurt to make the fruit dip you can dip your strawberries and other things it tastes just like that fruit cup if you bought a see how i forget if you bought a fruit tray and it had that flavored fruit cup inside you can make your own without the sugar This morning I did this one in coffee, the coconut. It was excellent. I made a mocha coconut coffee and I got these. I haven't tried them yet. Unicorn and mermaid, zero sugar, zero calorie. One, this is like cotton candy and then this is like a pina colada kind of flavor. Shaved ice, make your own snow cones for the kids, sugar free. Okay. Let's get the ticket. Did you hear that? It's perfect timing. The rice just popped. It's done. Getting so excited even though I'm not eating it. All right. So barbecue chicken thighs are nice and done. I'm going to put just the rest of this sugar-free, calorie-free barbecue sauce on there and brush it on. Hopefully the kid doesn't have a fit. If he does, you know what? I'll eat it. I'm off my fast tomorrow. So I'm just getting the silicone brush. Yes, thank you all so much for being here. Thank you all for helping the channel to grow. Last I checked, we were at 729 subscribers, y'all. Maggie, the substitute teacher, is only three months old. I'm literally just brushing the barbecue sauce on here. Of course, if you don't need to do sugar-free or um, calorie-free, Sweet Baby Ray's or any barbecue sauce that you like. All right. I'm going to just turn it over and just brush the back side. But it looks really, really good. And these are chicken thighs. 
Okay, yeah, the back side is a little plain, so I'm going to put, but they did soak Tuesday for two days in the um, Ziploc bag with the barbecue sauce. So there should be flavor all the way through. I'm fasting, but I'm going to take I'm going to take like a little piece just to see. So I got a little bit of barbecue sauce and a little bit of mm -hmm. stop now. It's good. All right. All right, so chicken is good. I'm just brushing sauce on the top and the bottom. So that's done. Peas are done. Let's look at our rice. The rice was cooked in chicken broth for extra flavor and a little bit of butter. I forgot to salt. I'll plate this so it looks better, but y'all can see the barbecue chicken. All right, let me get a plate for the kiddo. He just gets a round plate. Okay, Maggie, be nice. Give him a square plate. I'll give him my plate since I'm fasting. I think I'll put like a little bit of parsley or something on there. So we have two chicken thighs. Rice looks good. I'll show you guys and then I'll scoop into it. Peas just went off. So again, the rice cooker is a great, you know, easy way to cook rice. Remember one to two ratio. So I had almost two cups of rice and I did almost one cup of, um, no, almost two cups of broth and almost one cup. It smells amazing. You can get a fork to kind of like fluff it up. I'm going to taste a little bit. Always taste your food before you serve it to somebody else. Texture is great. You can see we've got our nice little rice here. Oh, perfect. I thought the lack of salt, but I cooked it in chicken broth. So that's the tasting spoon out of the way. I'm going to get a fork to just kind of fluff it up. Remember the chicken broth or the bouillon cube gives you flavor. And then that rice was cooking in there. So you got, and the butter just makes it, oh. All right, so let me give him his rice. So get a nice scoop of, I don't know if y'all can see, nice fluffy rice. Two scoops of rice. Boys eat like men. At this point, y'all wear the same shoe size. So we have two chicken thighs and then our rice. I'll put some chives, I'll put some green on there. Oh, the peas are coming. I'm wondering if I put the rice and then put the peas. All right. These were steam and bag sweet peas. So I'm just going to open them over the sink. And then get a slotted spoon. I'll put them on the side. So since these were steam and bag peas, I just cooked them literally in the bag. But if I were cooking them on the stove, I would have cooked them in chicken broth like mom taught me. Gives everything some flavor. Or put a bou bouillon cube in with the water. But these are just regular green peas. All right. Not bad. I'm gonna put a little parsley, just a little. Just because the rice is looking kinda eh. Literally just 
for picture purposes. I don't know if y'all can see. <sighs> oh, you guys want to do the zoom. Okay, awesome. Um, and then Nana's special spicy paste that I don't eat, that she cooks. It has dried fish, dried shrimp. A teaspoon is like fire. This kid likes it. Marcus? Sorry, I should have muted myself. That's not elegant. But this is a spicy paste that my mom makes. It's, um, I'm putting it on the side. She sent a jar home with the kid. It's literally like tomatoes and onion and dried seafood. Like you can buy at the African and Asian markets. They grind like shrimp and stuff down to a powder and you stir it until it all cooks down. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take a picture. Hopefully you guys can see barbecue chicken, rice, and peas. All right, let me take a picture. Maybe I'll make him a beverage. That would be nice. So, dinner is done. All right, let's take some pictures. Oh, Y'all see, I knocked the, oh, oh, sorry, knocked my camera over, moving the gloves. Told you this is not a real cooking show. It's just me in my kitchen. Let's see. These pictures go on my community tab. They go on Instagram too. So just take several pictures, some with the flash, some without. Get the drinking glass. We'll pretend it's for him. Okay. So I want to make sure you guys see. I know the rice doesn't show up well, but. All right. I'm going to go upstairs so I'm not yelling through the house and have him come down and taste for you. Um, so we'll take a quick like 30 second commercial. We're gonna thank our channel sponsors. I'm still here, I'm just gonna mute. Oops. Sorry, y'all. Here we are. How's the rice? Um. It's good. It's good? Okay. 
Tastes good. Tastes good? Yeah. You want to take one bite of the chicken and then you can go to the table if you want? Okay. It's good. It's good? Well, what? Rice? Chicken? Any other feedback? Is the flavor all the way through the meat? The texture of the rice is? Yeah. Yeah? Do you want some uh, mango tea? Mm -hmm. No? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. So the food is good. I'm going to pack up the rest. We've got some unboxing to do. Um, I think I saw you guys type Zoom. So next question, if you guys are willing to get together for a Zoom so we can meet each other, um, do you want some more shito? No? no? Okay. Um, when would be a good time for the... I know, y'all. Um, yes, for anybody who said that they would be interested... When would be a good day or time? Not date, but like, let's say Saturday morning or Sunday evening. But uh, for those of you all who would want to get together, let me know when would be a good time. I'm going to pack up, show you guys the meal prep and the container, and then uh, we'll do some unboxing. All right. So you know I'm a big fan of the meal prep containers. I've bought these at Walmart or wherever. If you order takeout, wash the containers, run them through the dishwasher if they're sturdy enough, and use them for you know leftovers, for everything. So we're gonna do the chicken. So I cooked four pieces, so there's a piece for you, YouTube, and the piece for you, Instagram. Um, you know what I'll do? I'll make, um, well, you could do, I'm just going to do the chicken. I'm trying to decide if I want to do chicken, rice, and peas separate or plate. So I think I'll plate. That way if you get company or somebody or, you know, you're going to visit somebody. Mom always taught me to cook. So I've separated them. Cook extra, and then she would pack my dad's, um, you know, lunch the next day. So you have extra left over. I don't know if he's gonna want seconds. Chicken and rice. So getting down to the bottom. The rice is really good, y'all. The chicken broth and a little bit of butter, like a half teaspoon. Just makes it really easy to maneuver so you have that nice sticky rice. And the rice cooker is non-stick. And I don't know how it knows when it's done, but it knows when it's done. So you just get the rice up out of here. <laughs> so we're making our to-go plates. We'll let these cool and um, put them in the fridge. That way when kids come home, they can microwave, you know, their own meal. Or if you're packing lunch for someone, you can have, you know, ready to go more. You, here's a spoon, babe. Yeah, but you don't want to put your fork in that. That's the one that I use. Okay. You. You're welcome. All right. So working on our leftovers. So we have barbecue chicken and rice. Two leftover plates. Now we're gonna put the peas on the side. So I've just got the steaming bag peas. Really easy meal. You know, if you're not gonna be available to make it fresh, you can make it ahead. Everybody likes a home cooked meal. So. And this could be peas and carrots. 
It could be corn, whatever vegetable, <laughs> whatever you like. So this is easily, you know, could be a family meal for four. Still hungry? What, what you want, babe? Say have tea. Oh, you want some tea? Oh, yes. I would like for you to try the tea that I made. Okay, so I have, you have barbecue sauce. I have this mate this unsweet McDonald's tea. Mm-hmm. Alright. I'm gonna make it just like I made mine. I'm gonna put some ice in. Do you want alkaline drops? No. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, so we've got the five pumps of the sugar-free mango syrup. McDonald's unsweet tea and uh, would you like lemon in a straw? <laughs> All right, hold up. Let me get. Wait, let me make it. Let me make it. All right. Oh, there's. My, and then let me give you a little garnish of lemon. If you're having company over, you can make everybody a nice little beverage. And then a garnish of lemon, just to be fancy. You could put this inside, or you could put it on the edge. If I could cut it straight. All right. Okay. Is that good? Okay, so God's girl says her schedule is flexible. Okay, usually the boys are at their dad's like Saturday mornings. That might be fun, unless you want them in the Zoom. You don't want to meet my scholars. How's my tea? Oh, so you guys can see while he's guzzling that down. You want to take it to school? Can you microwave? Oh, I didn't know that. So we just made dinner and lunch. So you can see here, I just packaged up in the meal prep containers, the extra barbecue chicken, rice. I'm gonna put a little bit of parsley on just because I'm extra. Let me know if you need a refill, I have more. Why does it taste sweet? The sweetener is at the bottom. You might need to like um, stir it with your straw. Is it too sweet? Come here. <laughs> I'm gonna do three pumps instead of uh, four. Or you can make it yourself. You don't need any more? There's nothing left to drink. I have some more tea. So just three pumps, and then you can have the rest of my tea. There you go. Thank All gone. You. You're welcome, babe. All right. So dinner is done, lunches are done. The tea is so good, he's speechless, right? Yes. Yeah. So these can cool down and go in the fridge. Again, steamed vegetables, air fried chicken. It could be baked chicken. Ready to go in lunches or whatever you need. Then we'll do some unboxing. I know, right, though? Y'all already know. I got one word for you. Teenagers. All right. So just cleaning up. Did we talk? Oh, we didn't talk about the meetup. Let me tell you guys about the meetup. And then um, let me know if you want to do the Zoom meeting before 
or after the meetup. If you want to do it before, type before. If you want to do it after, type after. And we'll either do like a, a Saturday morning, but I'm East Coast. Maybe a Saturday midday might be fun. Baby, you done with the sheet top? Okay, so the first Maggie meetup is going to be a cooking class, a joint cooking class at the Cook's Warehouse. Details are on my community tab, maybe from last week or um, on my Instagram. So I am a former corporate executive um, for the Coca-Cola company, but very happy working from home now. And we had a leadership like team thing there. And you know what, I actually found some pictures. So if you guys want, I can put pictures and video on my community tab or post them. But it is a joint cooking class. So the Cook's Warehouse here in Atlanta, it's like a um, William Sonoma. So it's like a cooking store that they have all kind of cookware, pots and pans and gizmos and gadgets. But in the back, they have like an open air kitchen. So they have all of these different stations. And so we would arrive, they give us everything, aprons. Um, they have all of the food and all of the equipment. And we have a chef that's assigned to us. So like a proper chef, not me. Um, and it's, good. it's good. Kid approved barbecue chicken. How's that barbecue sauce? No, no, no. The barbecue sauce that's on the chicken. How does that taste? He's smearing the hot pepper on it. So his taste buds are on fire. Um, uh, so um, the cooking class, the price is $99. And I know some people have said that the price point is a bit out of touch. I'm very sensitive to that. So um, we can do something more affordable next time if you guys want. But it's for three hours from 6.30 to 9.30 p.m. So when we arrive, oh, I was saying we have the chef assigned to us. So kind of like those paint and sip classes where they have someone in the front giving you instruction and then you're actually doing it. So you can go to the cookswarehouse.com or cookswarehouse.com and look at their calendar. The price is based on the menu. And I chose the menu uh, because uh, they have all kinds of different things on different days. But this one was labeled gluten-free comfort food. And I was like, hello, that sounds like what I would eat. It's fried chicken, macaroni and cheese, and berry cake with cream or cream cake with berries. So the $99 is the same price that you would pay off of the street. I have paid my $99. You register directly at the Cook's Warehouse. I think capacity is 16. If we have enough, then they'll close it down just for us. But right now it is open to the public. And so literally when you get there, they have everything, the chicken, all the ingredients. We all prep our food together. And then we, they serve wine. The wine is included after the knives are put away. <laughs> Their quote. And then we sit down and we eat the food that we have prepared. So for three hours, um, a joint cooking class, that's what we're doing on Thursday, May 26th. I didn't realize that it is the weekend before Memorial Day. So if you're in town or going to be in town or want to be in town, y'all hear that silverware. Um, really? Your plate's all done. You can just hand it to me. I see that chicken bone. Um, but anyway, okay, now you really want to. All done? No. No? So anyway, um, let me clean up. Can I have a plate? All right. Looks like a winner, winner chicken dinner. Is there anything left? All done? <laughs> Excuse me.
All right. Um, bring your trash and let's uh, put the sheets away, please. Excuse me, Mom. <sighs> yes, you can. No, you already put your hand on it here, no, Marcus. Took my lemon, but that's okay. So anyway. So yes, that is going to be our first Maggie meetup. Um, so let me know, type before or after if you want to do the Zoom before or after. And um, maybe a weekend would be good, like a Saturday midday. All right. Class is cooking up, cleaning up. Then we'll do a little unboxing. It's putting everything away. So again, yeah, the air fryer works great. Big Bad Bull, you can let me know about the timing. It said 40 minutes, but I think it was done in like 30-ish. Um, nice crispy skin. Juicy on the inside. All I see are chicken bones over there. Okay, Bell is good for after. Aw, uh, thank you, Big Bad. From your lips to God's ears, because some days I wonder. Oh, yes. But I do. I'm a proud boy mom, times two, amicably divorced from their dad. We co-parent really well. And um, y'all already know the teenagers. But yes, I have a future architect and future pilot. Y'all saw Alex this weekend. He's in military school. I did post a picture of him. I sent him off with breakfast yesterday. If you look at my community tab, you'll see him in his uniform and uh, he wants to be a pilot. So I'm trying, y'all. All right, careful, babe. Can you put the top on the spice and bring the, um, Spoon so I can put it in the dishwasher, please. Can we do the kung fu fighting on grass? So I, I don't slip. Oh, you slipped? Okay. I probably can't get it off. Alright. Just gonna wipe my rice cooker and I'll put this, but I'm sure it's just another Walmart brand, Aroma Rice Cooker. To me, they're all the same. They'll last for years. This one is a replacement. I had one for years. Just cleaning the counters off. I love my kitchen, but these counters like this dark color. Oh, where's the top? Can I have the top, please? Eat the spoon. No. Why? It's you want me to taste it? Do it? Woo! Good Lord. Nana special, special spicy shito. It's not bad. It's actually very good if you like a fish sauce kind of flavor. They put it on everything. Eggs, rice, chicken, whatever. All right, let me wash my hands. Perfect timing. Aw, they are the future, yes. We love our boys, we love our men, we love everybody. Future leaders, but yet, Everything I do is for them, but they don't know it. I'm putting them to work. Marcus was looking at my analytics. He was like, Mom, did you know that, what did you tell me? 95% of your views come from subscribers? That's amazing. I have no idea what that means. But he says it's good. So they're gonna be part of this empire. These meals ain't free. Where is Maria? We need a new hashtag. Hashtag these meals ain't free. All right. Give you strength to do that homework, right? Ha <laughs> ha! Method to the madness. All right. 
So I'm excited. I got a couple packages. Y'all know I love these delivery services, so I'm always ordering stuff. One, I was going to say because I'm lazy. I'm not lazy, but um, I do work from home, so I try not to go into the stores unless I have to. For me, I know I'm subject to impulse buy, spend money I don't need to spend, and um, buy snacks that I don't need to eat. So I use the delivery services. Marcus, please empty this recycling for me and change the liner. Um, Walmart Plus, Amazon Prime, Instacart, Shipped. All of the uh, links should be... Oh. Yes. Yes. What did I say? Um, something about the Thank you. Uh, all of them are about $100 for the year. So it's a subscription service. So that breaks down to about $2 per week. And for me, especially the ones that don't have a minimum, it's great to be able to put um, something that you need on your shopping cart and just have it delivered for free. So I think I got these for um, Amethyst, but bay leaves. So adding to the spice rack like I need to. <gasps> Marcus, somebody's here for you. Come here. Y'all sound the alarm. I told you we had a lurker. Sound the alarm. What? Who's this? What? <laughs> Marcus, oh, Nana, oh, Marcus, no, Nana says, Marcus, hug mom, the home cooker, so hug me for her, and uh, she says, how do you like your rice with the shito? Tell Nana, she's watching. It's good. Okay. It's good? Yeah, it tastes like... It has a fishy, like, um, spicy, but good, right? Yeah. I, I agree. 100%. I know exactly what you're talking about. Okay. Empty my recycling, please. Thank you. So, <laughs> Nana's here. Nana's here. Hello, Nana. Everybody says hello. Hashtag these meals ain't free. Hi, Nana. Sound the alarm. Principal Nana's here. Hello, Nana. Okay. So, yeah, she sent the spicy paste home for the grandbaby. Y'all. Funny. In 1842, when I was pregnant with him, <clears throat> growing up with African parents, my mom used to always make stuff to her level of spice. And my brother and I would be like, <gasps> like, even if she made spaghetti or something that, you know, is just regular, she would add this spicy stuff. And she's like, oh, but, but is it hot? Right. We're crying. Our nose is running. All of that. So like when I left home, went to college, got married, you know, graduated, got married, all that stuff. I was like, I've had enough pepper to last me a lifetime. So I just avoided pepper. I liked flavor in my food, but I didn't like spicy pepper. So fast forward to almost 15 Years ago, when I was expecting with him, I was working, you know, I've been corporate since college, just go to the regular cafeteria like everybody does, and I got fried chicken, because when you're pregnant, you eat whatever you want, and I'm just going through the, like, line where the condiments are, and without even thinking about it, I get the Texas Pete, I'm talking to somebody, and I just start doing this, and I'm like, I don't eat spicy stuff, what the heck, the baby wanted pepper like my parents say and I was like so I'm eating this fried chicken thank you Mona Mona the moderator let us know about your channel I'm eating this fried chicken with hot sauce either Texas Pete or Louisiana I couldn't get enough and I was like my goodness sure enough when that little thing came out you know I nursed for almost a year 
But as soon as Nana could make him some food, she was grinding the pepper, put it in there. And, you know, Marcus is like <sighs> sweating and everything, but he loves it. So that boy will eat hot Cheetos, Takis, all that stuff. And Nana says, my African grandbaby. So she always loves sending Spice home for the for that one. Me and Alex are like, Nana, too spicy. Yes, Nana, everybody wants to see you. Whenever you're ready, let me know. I'll pick you up. And um, I'm getting requests for jollof rice, Mom, and whatever African food. Y'all know my parents don't think I really cook, right? Because I take shortcuts. My mom, this she thought she would be outside for hours doing this and it's bubbling like a cauldron. Hours, she sifts her own grains. She roasts her own nuts. Y'all know uh, Nana is a retired home economics teacher now called Family and Consumer Sciences. So, um, but I grew up with the African Martha Stewart. So the bar was set very high for me. Yes, thank you, Mona. All right, unboxing. So I got bay leaves. The bay leaves, um, when I made the arroz con pollo, I have one left. So it's weird, but um, this, you know, bay leaves are basically, you put the, the whole leaf when you're making like a pot of rice or I don't know what it smells like. It's, I don't know, it called for it in the recipe, but it adds flavor to your rice, your soup, your stew. Um, I think you make like butternut squash. So you put this in there while everything is cooking and the flavors are mixing. And then of course, before you serve it, you take the bay leaf out and throw it away so nobody gets the leaf on their plate, but it adds flavor. I don't know what it does, but if the recipe calls for it, then I buy it. And that's why I have all of this over here. Okay. Let's see what else came. Something I'm excited about. So the Instacart grocery delivery service that I've shared with you guys, there's a coupon code, I think in the description, but you can check any of these delivery services. Just go to their websites and you can put in your zip code and it'll let you know what stores deliver to your area because they partner with local stores and they will let you know if it's Kroger, Publix, or they have Dollar Tree, Michael, they have everything. Sometimes the same as store prices, sometimes slightly higher, but for me, it's worth the convenience. And that's another thing that Nana gets on to me about. She likes to go and touch the vegetables. I'll let somebody else do it. So when I was at mom's house for uh, Mother's Day weekend, Oh, I thought this was it, Nam De Moon Farmer's Market. So there's a store that delivers to her zip code that does not deliver to my zip code. So I'm just being nosy and looking to see, you know, what else I can get while I'm over there. So I had a delivery come and they have something that I have been looking for. Where is Lisa? Dun 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 dun. Beef bacon this one right here i haven't tried this one before dean halal but you can see it's bacon made from beef i think wally you were looking at that earlier the beef bacon i'll show you the one that i did find So of course I have just regular thick cut pork bacon for anyone who eats that. But on my plan, I can't have pork. So this is what I've had. This one, Godshaw's beef bacon. This one is from Sam's Club and Ingalls. And you can see it kind of has like a pastrami deli meat kind of like seasoning. It is good. It cooks up and crisps up nice. We did the Maggie Cakes and Candy Bacon with this one, God Shawls. I'm new to beef bacon. So when I find out about something, I'm looking everywhere to see where I can get it. So Lisa sent me this one to look for. Um, and you can see this one has more of the like fat. I know, but I'm gonna cook this tomorrow. I'm fasting today, but I'm gonna cook this tomorrow should I make Maggie cakes? Ooh, Leanne, you sent me a, uh, like a bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich with no bun. Maybe I'll do the bunless bacon, egg, and cheese. 
but I'm going to see if I crisp this up in the air fryer, if it will get me that like crumbly, melty bacon experience because this one, it's very lean. So it's like a little bit more deli meat, jerky kind of, it's still very good, great flavor, but I'm looking for that bacon texture. So I'm excited about that. Lisa, you're on, look what I found. Lisa recommended this brand. So fasting today, but tomorrow's breakfast, y'all, we're having beef bacon and I'm so excited. So let me know if anyone has tried that. All right, so this store had like a $35 minimum. So I just threw some more stuff on there. Maybe we'll do Maggie cakes tomorrow. I don't know. I threw on some fresh blueberries. These smell amazing. Oh, they're like ready to burst in my pancakes. So got that. Got some smoked salmon. If you guys saw the salmon pinwheels that we did, I want to try that again. Um, this time I'll soften the tortilla. Uh, we also did the salmon bagel substitute using my cauliflower thins. You can put smoked salmon in an omelet. You can eat it, you know, with uh, crackers, um, tortilla, bagel, but love this. What I eat is pretty much lean protein, some veggies and fruits, very little starch and no sugar. And then of course, what are Maggie cakes if they're not goat cheese? Yes, Lisa, I found it. So I got, um, I'm always trying different brands. Y'all know about the goat's cheese. This one came from the store where the beef bacon did. So this is plain. Ah, the pinwheels look good. Okay, thank you. I'll do those again uh, soon. The pinwheels are supposed to be like round. When I cut in mine, I put too much pressure. So they flattened a little bit. I'm going to see if I can get them nice and round. But um, if you scroll back, you'll see the salmon pinwheels from a couple days ago. Um, so the goat's cheese, this is my substitute for cream cheese, for ricotta cheese. Since I'm sensitive to cow dairy, I eat uh, dairy products from uh, plant-based, so almond milk, coconut milk, uh, goat's milk, or sheep's milk. So this is a nice, soft cream cheese substitute for me. I got the plain, and I also got the honey. So this is goat's cheese. This is a big log. Um, these are 11 ounces. So for Maggie cakes, remember one to one, but I'm always trying different brands. Goat's cheese to me, it is an acquired taste. Um, it's like, uh, it has a little bit of funk to it, uh, like a blend between sour cream and blue cheese. Some are stronger than others. So I'm always looking to see which one has a good chew or mouth, you know, feel. All right. And then I also had Publix come in today. I know Maria was on earlier. If you like whipped cream and your coffee or on your fruit, you have some plant-based options, Ready Whip. Um, the regular whipped cream maker, you can get it made from almond milk or coconut milk. It works just like regular whipped cream. Put it in the fridge, take the top off and shake it up. And But you can get some non-dairy substitutes for whipped cream. Snuggles! Snuggles! Y'all welcome Snuggles to class, our favorite family bot. On my fast today, I'm just eating eggs and apples. Oh, Snuggles, we have a new outing to tell you about. So I ordered these, just pink lady apples. I finished the other two this morning. So these are the fruits that I keep on the counter. Apples, oranges, lemons. So I'm gonna wash one. Um, since I'm fasting, I'm just gonna eat an apple. Eggs and apples are what I'm doing today for my fast because I enjoyed myself for my Mother's Day spa day yesterday. So you can hear more about that this morning, but beautiful color, good fresh, um, good source of fiber. This morning we cut it and made fried apples, but uh, today I'm just gonna eat one. So what I'm eating today, so boring. That's why I did Marcus. I just made some boiled eggs and some apples. So my fast is egg and apples just for today. All right. So we talked about the coconut cream and almond cream, uh, snuggles. 
would you join our Zoom link? All right. So you guys are interested in the Zoom link. We'll do it after. So we'll do it maybe like early June since we've got the meetup coming at the end of the month. Again, you can go to the website and register. And just eggs. I do eat a lot of eggs. I cook with them. I eat them. That was my unboxing for today. <sighs> I'm looking at this chicken over here, the one that I rotisserie. Let me see if I can cut it up. That'll be the last thing that I do. Do I want to do that? I don't think I want to do that. <sighs> I was just going to get the kitchen shears and cut the chicken. Um, but yeah, Marcus said dinner was good. He's got homework, so I'm going to be on him. I always feed them before I um, say, okay, let's get that homework out. Um, let me take this chicken apart, see if we can cut it really quick, and then we're going to be done. Let me know if y'all have any cooking questions, because uh, we're just about done. So again, this air fryer has a um, rotisserie spit. So you can see there, it basically hooks into, goes through the roast or whatever, keeps the meat. Should be small enough for it to turn, but this bird was pretty big. It's done cooking and cooling, so I'm gonna get in there now. I'll show you this little contraption. You don't need this in your air fryer. You can just buy a rotisserie chicken or bake it. But this goes through the bird and then it's got these little prongs, I don't know, to kind of hold the meat steady so that it can spin on the uh, spit. So I'll put this in the dishwasher in a bit. All right. So we got our chicken cooked. <clears throat> now I use the kitchen shears to get in here, but you guys can see, I don't know, that feather thing is creeping me out. <sighs> Let me wash my hands. But yeah, cooking a whole chicken, you know, is a great way to, I'm just using the shears, just going down the leg a great way to have um you know protein down for the week that way you can have your eight piece of chicken already done i don't think i want to go through this yeah oh i'm gonna have to wrestle this thing and i need to get my mind right but anyway cutting the legs and then cut down the carcass and then the bird the, the wings and everything I just use kitchen shears. So you gotta fight it a little bit, but it's doable. All right, so we talked about, so dinner is done, Marcus is eaten. I've got my apples and eggs. I'm gonna clean the fridge, put my groceries away. Um, tomorrow we're gonna do the beef bacon. I'm so excited. I'll try and come up with something different. Um, but I'm so excited to try it. Uh, mango tea was a hit, skinny syrups. We talked about the meetup, if you guys are interested. So you guys decided that you want to do a Zoom meeting. So I'll try and schedule it, let's say the first Saturday in June. June the 4th. I'll check my calendar. I may be uh, available. That would be fun. And we could just do a Zoom meeting. And uh, for those who can't travel or, you know, whatever restrictions, I'll drop the link. So Snuggles, I wanted to make sure that I told you that. Uh, and you're talking about roti. Roti is, is that the starch? I've heard of that one before. Is that an Indian or a Caribbean rice? Help me understand. Is that what you're eating tonight? Um, but yes, so Snuggles and anyone else who's interested, look for a virtual Maggie meetup. Um, let's say the first, can I do a BLT? Ooh, Lisa, that sounds amazing. Yes. BLT. 
I can do a Chuffle BLT. For you, Lisa, would you like it uh, for first meal or second meal, AM or PM tomorrow? And I will make a Chuffle BLT with that beef bacon. And I got a fresh tomato, slice it, some mayo, some <laughs> gonna be so good. Should I do it for breakfast? Or that sounds like an afternoon meal. PM, okay. So beef BLT is tomorrow's dinner. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. Look for a virtual Maggie meetup early June. Um, thank you all so much for, um, you know, just coming to keep me company while I cook for myself or cook for others. Um, if you're interested in doing a cooking collaboration, just like Amethyst came over, if you've got a YouTube channel and you want to cook you want me to cook for you if you're in the Atlanta area, come through and I'll let you uh, choose what you want and I'll make, um, I'll make whatever and then you can give some feedback on the food. If you're out of town and you want to interview me, a couple people have reached out. Um, we can do an interview or I can do cooking like I did for Suzette Speaks. We'll figure it out. Um, but yeah, thank you all so much for being here and uh, I'll see you at breakfast tomorrow morning. I may join, Lisa, you may join me for, um, you want to come, come through? Are you coming to Atlanta? Yeah, let me know. Absolutely. Lisa, you are for sure. Lisa was our inaugural uh, cook along. If y'all want to do the cook along, I bring you on the screen, just like snuggles. I drop the link. You pick what you want to cook and we'll cook it in real time together, side by side, virtually. Um, so yeah, Lisa, let me know however you'd like to connect, but I'm going to let you all have your Tuesday evening. I got to check some homework and uh, run the dishwasher and wipe down the fridge. Oh yes, a cook along. Absolutely, that would be awesome. That would be so awesome. If you guys are ever in Atlanta, please reach out. I would love to, to see you or bring you in the kitchen. If you wanna see me with Amethyst, that was on Saturday. We made uh, chicken and rice, arroz con pollo. All right, class is dismissed. I will see you guys for breakfast tomorrow. Thank you, Instagram. And thank you, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Good night.